Kinichiwa, hope everyone's good. So I thought I'd redo my EDC video, I know I did one about two or three days ago. But I've decided to change a few things with the EDC because I'm not 100% happy with it. And if I say I'm carrying something in EDC video and then I change a few days later, it's not really being honest to the subscribers and viewers. So... I'll redo it. I'll keep the old one up, but uh, this is what I'm going to be carrying for the rest of the month. I've decided I'm going to be carrying a lot of the stuff permanently now until I break it or lose it. Because I'm, the reason why I do ADC videos monthly is because I'm always changing things. I'm never never happy with a lot of the stuff that I carry. A lot of it I'm just trying out. A lot of things I keep on going back to and then trying other things but uh, for the most part I've decided I'm going to stick with a lot of what I'm going to show now. It is going to change a little bit but uh, for the most part pretty much going to stick with everything I'm going to show. So the watch changing going to the Casio edifice really awesome watch the reason why I'm going with this one instead of the other one, I love the uh, G-Shock GA100MC, whichever one it was. The only problem with that is the fabric straps. Once they get wet, they stay wet. That's fine during summer, but during winter, cold conducts heat quickly. And uh, it's not very nice having a wet, freezing cold strap on your wrist. I know I can change it for a rubber strap. I keep on saying I'm going to do it, but I never get around to it. So I'm just going to go with this instead. It's just this edifice with the same button compass on the strap. So I'm going to be sticking with that one. Flashlight. I think this is permanently going to be part of my ADC. Army Tech. Elf C2 Awesome flashlight Actually think it's better than Olight And I'm a huge Olight fan so that's saying a lot Still got the Right in the rear notepad Going to be chain staying with this I'll only change it when I lose it or break it. I don't think I'll ever break that. It's the Max Position Spicata pen. Knife. Going to be staying with this from now on. I always go back to it. Cable. Folding Hunter. Very easy to sharpen. I think it's an Ossiate blade. This is just a work knife. That's just one of my favourites. It's thin and lightweight, easy to take apart to clean, and it just feels real nice in the hand. Mully tool, changing that. I keep on saying I'm going to be sticking with this all the time, but I am now. It's the Victorinox Swiss Tool Spirit. Lighter. I don't think I'm going to be sticking with this though, it's just a little bulky. It's the table flame. I think it's the military model. I think I'll be uh, switching back to the Zippo next month. Cobra. Not a Cobra. Colt. Sia. Uh, survival bracelet. Not something that I uh, would wear, but it was a gift, so... It's not something I would buy myself, is what I mean. But, uh, anyway... 
Israeli field dressing. Thin takes up no space. Doesn't weigh anything. The cat bandana, gift from Japan. Thousand uses, great piece of kit. Phone is the Nexus, I think it's the 6P, Hawaii or however you say it, Chinese company. Still not big on technology, so phone to me is just a phone. Just use it for phone stuff, calling, texting, that's it. Anyway, keys. Whistle's gone, but besides that, still going to be sticking with the Swiss Army SD Classic. Uncle Bill's Silver Grippers. Boga Plus. Uh, Pry Tool. Vox Design. And the Olight I1R EOS Flashlight. And the reason why changing whistles, I got myself a brand new Phoenix NW20. And I just wear it around the neck, it comes with a little necklace, so might as well wear it around the neck instead of putting the keychain. But guess what else I found? Three days ago, lying on a path, my old NW20. So I've got that back again, and just for a size comparison, the new version is absolutely tiny compared to that. About the same thickness, but it's about a centimetre off on the length, and I'm not going to bother blowing them. They're both very loud. In fact, I think the newer one's a little louder than the older version but uh, that's the new whistle another very important thing to have as far as wallets got the uh, Maxpedition TCP Triangular coin pouch for coins and the wallet going to be sticking with this from now on might switch it out to the kangaroo leather bomber wallet but uh, the flight tactical, I'm not going to bother going into this. Nothing's changed since the last video I showed it in. And that is that for my personal carry. I'll go into the bag now where the bag is also changed. So the bag I'm switching to the 511 Rush Lima. I've decided this is going to be my permanent EDC bag from now on. As far as the outside goes, just got the normal bike light I always put on in case I'm walking next to a road at night. Stops the car from going in us. I've also got a glow in the dark a patch on there, which you can just see. School patch. So if there's a power cut or anything, I can still see the bag. And that's pretty much it on the outside, apart from the stainless steel water bottle. Still haven't gotten around to replacing the Swiss M84 surplus water bottle. Just too lazy to order a new one, so I'll stick with that until I get around to ordering a new water bottle. But on the inside. And the contents of the bag changes daily depending on what I'm doing. Most of the time I'll carry a lot less than what's in here now, but this is how I've had it today, so I'll just show it. Still got the Phoenix. Sorry. Yeah, Phoenix. LD22. Oldie, but goody flashlight. 
takes two AAA batteries, or double A I mean. The Auto No Knock Mechanical Pencil. That's pretty much it for that. And the first thing I can get access to is the main first aid kit. Carrying a lot of stuff in there, I'm thinking about taking a lot of stuff out so it's more compact and takes up less space. 5.11 make a smaller pouch than this. Going to order a black one, I think they order a grey one. So if they make the grey one I'll buy it so I can stick on the outside of this bag. But uh I might order the uh, smaller version of that pouch with the snug pack, enhanced patrol poncho, the lunch box which would normally have food in it, the Highlander waterproof pants, mechanics fast fits. Need to buy some new one of those as well. They're getting holes in them already. The headband for the Army Tech flashlight. The uh, power bank. Some charging cables. Uh, Victorinox camper. Suzuki Auto Drive, sorry, Overdrive, Harmonica, some spare lead for the mechanical pencil, and a bitten wrench set. And that's it for there. And in the back got a schmag. You send flight gloves and a Usen or you send Baltic hat. Just trying these out. I got this two days ago and the gloves I've had for a week now. But they're made in England so far I really like the gloves. And the hat seems really good quality. But it's something I'll try out so See how well they hold up. Should be good. They're uh, made in England, like I say, high quality. I'm not saying they're the best thing in the world because they're made in England. I'm not very patriotic. I don't like living in this country that much, so if they're shit, I'll say they're shit. I haven't got buyer's denial when it comes to buying things. If something's crap, I'll say it's crap. But uh, anyway, that's my ADC for this month. Thanks for watching, channel.